A lot of our listeners try to rape Jules. They send her emails. Oh, we're going to open you up. We're going to. I think those are all secret. Rob, from your, you. no, no, no. I saw a lot of emails that say, uh, we're going to get into those vaginal walls. We're going to tag those walls up with hate. Right. We're going to write a swastika on your vaginal wall in metallic spray paint. That's illegal. I don't want it. <laughs> I want her vaginal walls tagged with peace signs <laughs> from hippie communities. <laughs> okay. You are. Their message from the beginning has been just, just do. Jules what? is willing and able, they say. To what? To receive pain from the man? <laughs> willing and what? You want to receive a hurt? <laughs> yes, you do. That's what he said. You should see these people that write to Jules. I will. What they say. I am a Jesse P.S. fan. I will defile you under Jesse law. <laughs> this is what they say. Me and Jesse will rape you. Isn't this sick? So this pot awful show is all about a rape to Jules. And that's supposed to be funny. We will do to your walls what Jesse did to ours. This is what they say. We follow Jesse rule, which is rape of wall. Yes. Jesse law, which is rape of wall. They say this is what I get every day. Dear Mike, I am a pod awful fan. Under Jesse rule, Jules' wall is ours. Her vaginal wall is fucked. Don't even try to put this back together again. Because with all the king's men, Jesse, please make I will stop. huff and puff and blow your wife down. This is what they say to me on a daily basis. I go, guys, can you see that this is not normal? This is not what we do. This is different. And they go, Mike, you're being a bitch. <laughs> I, I will get a guy. A I'll wake up in the middle of the night to somebody holding my neck and they go, I'm going to rape you and Jules. And I go, stop. What are you doing? And they go, oh, what a pussy. <laughs> stop feeding the trolls. I go, I don't know what else to do. This is some sick shit. Someone says here. We got something I got to read for you. And we're really sick of this Jesse guy going after our show and I wanted to Wait, this is real parts. I wanted to read you something that he wrote back in May about our show somebody was criticizing May of 2020 <laughs> yikes and this is something that needs to be responded back to these people every time they talk <laughs> about raping you or something like this what you do just do what you do Jeez. Oh, I understand from your perspective. Hold on a second. Listen to this. Look what you see. Is this where it starts here, Jules? Yes. So somebody was making fun of me on Reddit. Oh, no, wait. You, Go the ahead. The other one is the first okay. one. Go ahead. This one? Yeah. Is that it? Wait. I mean, come on, Jules. Get it together here. Then one or the other. Yeah, okay, one or one. the other. Yeah, that one's first. Okay. This one. It does not take. No, the other one, the one that I said. This okay, one well, is then the it's one backwards. First when you were on. It's yes, backwards. Exactly. Okay, there you go. Somebody was trashing us on Reddit. And Matt and Shane's secret podcast. On Matt and Shane's secret podcast. This is Shane Gillis' site. And this is going to be the last time we ever address Jesse P.S. You're not going to believe what he said about us. It's tearing jewels apart. <laughs> Listen to this. So this is when we went, we were made our video about Shane or whatever. Remember? And Go ahead. Say that again. Say us. it again, Jules. Go ahead. Say it again. No, I was just saying this is the, from when we made the video about Matt and Shane's podcast. We made a video about Shane Gillis. With his brother. And whatever. they were uh, bitching about us on the Shane Gillis Reddit and they caught Jesse P.S. Somebody caught Jesse P.S. going in there and defending us. This was just a few months ago. And then we accused Jesse of copying us. And he went crazy. I don't know what caused something like this. All we want is for this to stop because he's been trying to, again, he, he will write Jules these emails. I'm going to rape you. I'm going to fuck you like Mike never fucked you. And we go, this is too far. 
So we'll read you what Jesse wrote, and this is 100% true here. You can see it here. It's from Reddit is for fags on Reddit. That's Jesse's handle. It's been proven. And people were making fun of me, and this is what Jesse wrote. Something only doesn't add up if you have no idea how anything works. Obviously, he hasn't had a large audience since 2000. Obviously, he hasn't had a large audience since 2003. He has a decent sized one since 2007, at least. His podcast used to be in iTunes Top 100 regularly. You're judging a podcast on YouTube views, which is retarded. So he's talking to this crowd on Shane Gillis's cast. Risking defending his us neck to defend you. His studio isn't large. It's a den in a condo. You're just not used to seeing someone try. So you assumed it's a large studio. It's the size of a home office. He did not accept a job from Anthony Cumia. So I don't know what they wrote about me, but he's setting them straight. Yes. This exactly. is Jesse P.S. setting the haters straight about Red Bar. You're just not used to seeing someone try. So you assumed it's a large studio. It's the size of a home office. He did not accept a job from Anthony Cumia. He lobbied to get it, then used that spot to gain an even larger following, and it worked. Now, here's where he starts really promoting me here. Hold on. Uh... Hold on. We're going to get this to work. <laughs> and it worked. He managed to take many viewers of Kumia's network with him when he quit. He never accepted payment from Kumia. And he explicitly did not join with the hope to be paid by Kumia, but instead pointed new viewers to his own premium content section. He's had a Patreon-like service for bonus content since before Patreon. Okay, hold on. This is all <laughs> funky. Since before Patreon. Where's that? Da, 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 da. Uh, there was no overhead for the comedy club, the Red Bar Comedy Club, because it was run out of an existing nightclub. It essentially cost nothing to start and brought him his partner, and the owners of the actual club a decent amount of money. Okay. okay very nice. All right, let's go to part two. It does not take a ton of followers to make decent money online, just dedicated ones. I know this from experience. Mike sells quite a lot of bit of merch and has had a large number of people sign up for his bonus content. Over the years... He likely has had more people sign up for his shit than Matt and Shane have on Patreon. Not a knock against them. I very much enjoy their podcast, but that's the math. I've listened for a very long time to Red Bar. This is Jesse P.S. Of Pot Awful. He started out as a fan of ours. This is a post we found of his on Reddit. What you're about to hear isn't good. Here we go, they say. I know this from experience. He sells quite a bit of merch and has a large number of people signed up for his bonus content. Over the years, he has likely had more people sign up for his shit than Matt and Shane have ever had on Patreon. Not a knock against them. I very much enjoy their podcast, but that's the math. I've listened to Red Bar for a very long time, and I know firsthand the extent of his audience, having been in Shane's spot myself back in 2011. His audience went after me, and even back then, it was a decent size. This was before live streaming on YouTube, for fuck's sake. Literally nothing points to a total failure. A dude who has made fun of every person, no matter how big or how much they could help, completely self-made, 
with no big name recognition, essentially, essentially invented comedy podcasting. He's been doing it for 15 years. He's made his only job for at least a decade. He's made it his only job for at least a decade. He's run a successful comedy club from scratch until it was stolen from him. He was banned from every major platform and despite this is now taking off on YouTube as well. And he's made all his money with no advertising and only selling content and personal, personally designed merchandise. Acting like any of this is failing is maybe the world's largest cope. Signed, Jesse P.S. Pretty much all you need to know about him from now on. That's all I'm ever going to say. If there's any <laughs> discrepancy, see this post. That's it. <laughs> I am a god. Soon as they like you, make them all like. Cause people ask so alike you. <laughs>